Day three at the Conference USA Swimming and Diving Championship was just as exciting as ever with FIU taking a commanding lead headed into the final day of the meet. Looking at the standings, the Panthers ended day three with 517 points, WKU in second with 444 points, followed by Rice, Marshall, North Texas, Florida Atlantic, and Old Dominion. Johanna Gustaf's daughter picked up where she left off, winning the 400-yard individual medley and breaking yet another Conference USA championship record with a time of 4 minutes, 11.83 seconds, 0.3 seconds better than the record set last year, and after the race talked about how close the Panthers are to winning its first swimming and diving championship. I'm warming down and I'm thinking, just thinking about it and I'm tearing up in my goggles. It's, it's amazing, like it's like nothing else. Tomorrow, like we'll have to keep it up tomorrow in order to like keep the lead, but there's a good chance and there's a good possibility and it'll be amazing. The 100 yard butterfly was next and yet another record was broken, this time by Rice senior Casey Clark, who set a new conference championship record with a time of 51.98 seconds, surpassing the old record of 52.12, and after the race talked about what setting the new mark does for her going forward. I won 100 butterfly tonight with the new best time for myself. I broke 52 for the first time, so that was really exciting for me. It's been my goal for a long time, and I consider it a really big accomplishment for myself. Aggie Books of Florida Atlantic won the 100-yard freestyle tonight to pick up her first individual win of the conference championship, while Claire Conlin of Western Kentucky won the 100-yard breaststroke, picking up the Hilltoppers' second individual win of the championship. And Sylvia Scalia capped off the night of individual races with another win for FIU. And after the race, FIU head coach Randy Winner talked about what it would mean if FIU were to win the championship. Oh, it'd be everything for our program. You know, uh, you know, I started here five years ago, and we were far from that. And uh, it's been what we're building towards each year. You know, trying to get to that point. So it'd be, uh, you know, a huge point to get to, and then kind of go from here and keep building. The final day of the Conference USA Swimming and Diving Championship will take place on Saturday. And for full results and to see who swam away with the crown, be sure to head over to ConferenceUSA.com. For the CUSA Digital Network, I'm Aaron Pryor.